G'day okay, everyone, today I'm going to share with you five tips to better your car photography. Okay, tip number one. Seriously, keep it clean. When it comes to car shooting cars, there are a huge mirror. So what you have to do is try and clean up the background. One of the big no-nos that, that was rammed, beaten into my head, was stop shooting cars with trees and poles growing out of the back of them. It looks weird. You've got this lovely shape of the car. Make sure that that shape isn't interfered with by objects coming out of the background, growing out of the car. It just looks strange and it breaks the line. So make sure that, you know, maybe you need to get down low and make sure that the sky is kind of coming down behind the car so you can see, you can see the, the silhouette of the car. Do anything you can, change, change the spot where you're shooting. Do anything you can to clean up the background so that you've got the silhouette of the car. Another thing when shooting backgrounds and shooting cars is a lot of people go, yeah, let's shoot this with the city in the background or a really complicated, touristy spot, you know, and we'll put the car in front and that's gonna look amazing. Well, all it does is detract from the car and you've got, the, the eye doesn't know where to look. You've got this stuff going on in the background and you've got the car and it's busy and it's crazy. So, simplify it. Keep it clean. Shoot the car on the most simplest background you can get and uh, you'll be amazed at the results. Number two, light. Come on. Stop shooting in the middle of the day. Stop it. <laughs> Shit. Number two, light. Stop shooting in the middle of the day. Morning and night. Shoot a golden hour. Wait, morning and afternoon, not night. Shoot a golden hour. Wait for the sun to come up. Go and chase the light. The light is key. When you're starting out, you need good light. Good, good light. You've got about an hour, hour and a half, really good light from the moment the sun comes up. Go and chase that light. And in the afternoon, it's the afternoon's trickier because the shadows are longer, you get a lot of contrast, you can blow out a little bit, but um, it's definitely some great light. The morning is gorgeous if it's if there's no cloud, and the afternoon you kind of want a bit of cloud just to soften it down. But you've got to chase the light. And here's some examples of good light versus bad light. Let's have a look at them. So this is the morning shot, gorgeous sun, just there's a glow to this photo compared to the harsh, harsh light of the midday sun. So stack the odds in your favor and search for that light. Go, go chase the light in the mornings. Get up early, set the alarm, it's well worth it. Number three, okay, lenses. Shooting cars, look, it's in my opinion, and there's, there's a whole bunch of takes on this, but I like to keep the form of the car looking as pure as possible. So. Try not to go too short on the cars, unless you're doing a rig or something, but try not to distort the car so it bends around, you know, like this. Keep the car looking pure and simple in its clean form. Designers have gone to a lot of trouble and make the thing look sexy as hell. So shoot that. And capture it in the landscape and in a clean environment with a decent lens. Don't go too short. I try not to go, you know, past 24, 35 kind of thing, but um, look, it's up to you, but just keep in mind that, hey, hey, maybe I'm bending this car a little bit too much and, and it's not gonna look, uh, it's not gonna look right. Hey, I'll leave it up to you. It's a personal thing, but these are my tips and that's tip three. Tip four, do the walk around, okay? So look, even even professional photographers don't know everything. They walk, you know, they think they can just walk in and go, "This is going to look amazing here." We'll put the car here. Usually, in a shoot, at a shoot, you've got um, you got the driver, you got the owner of the car, you got something else happening. Um, depends on how big your shoot is, assistants, producers, whatever. So everyone asks you, "Where should we shoot the car?" I usually say, "Let's start right here where it is." And I walk around the car. Okay, and this gives you this, the light changes and starts to reflect and move on the body of the car. 
So that'll give you the idea where you should shoot the car and where it needs to be. In the light, how, how it's working off the panels of the car. We think we know best and we're there shooting one angle of the car. This looks really nice, click, click, click. Half an hour and then you wander around to the other side to, to get something out of your bag, equipment or whatever, and you notice, wow, this looks amazing from the other side. So just get that walk around happening. And then once you've done that, get low, get high, you know, just move around the perspectives and, and try and break out of that point and shoot. I walked up and I stood <laughs> at shoulder height and I clicked off a frame kind of angle. Try and search for that low angle or the high angle. Yeah, it'll improve things. Okay, tip number five. I've, I've had cars turn up to photo shoots and they haven't been cleaned in months. And you're just like, what are you doing? Where possible, try and get the car clean, okay? If they rock up on the day and it's not clean, you're trying to clean bits and you, get, you, know, you don't have the right equipment and you know, that can be tough. That can be tough. Sometimes it's just best to leave the thing dirty. But where possible, try and plan it out. Hey, make sure your car's clean. Give them a couple of days notice to clean the car. You've got a gorgeous thing to shoot. I've shot a car at the track that had just come from another meet and they was, it was shooting that day. It was a tough car. It was, you know, a, a mental rugged track car. And, and the dirt and the grime and the, and the rubber up the side kind of works. So, that, you know, there's, there's always an exception to the rule, but usually shooting a clean car is, is going to be a hell of a lot better than shooting a dirty car. If you like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe. We'll be making more of this stuff. Go and improve your photography. Thanks for watching.